Welcome back to Studio 5. So many of us have looked in the mirror and we've wondered what we might look like with a little lift, a little tightening, a little help. It's the kind of question Dr. Steve Jepson hears every day from his patients at the Utah Dermatologic and Medical Procedures Clinic. And he's here to explain what happens at that first consultation, which I think is a curious question for a lot of people. I, I come to see you. I want to know what plays out behind those doors. Well, and, you know, I've been talking about this stuff on this show for, for years now. Yeah, people still come in and they're not quite sure what they need. I mean, they know that they're getting older, they know that their face is changing, but they sit down and they say, Dr. Jepson, tell me what it is that you think I need. So that's what I wanted to do today is throw a picture up here of a typical aging face and kind of go through it like I would in my office during a consultation. Okay, awesome. Let's pop that picture up if we can. And you typically look at certain areas of the face to determine what's needed or what you recommend. Right. So so in this lady, this lady's probably in her 50s somewhere. You can see the very first thing that I see is what ages her the very most is kind of this area right through here, her lower face. You see these lines that go from her nose down to her mouth. You can see kind of some furrowing down through you here. You think that ages her the most? I think that ages her the most. And I, you know, I'll ask people, what is it that bothers you the very most? And, and sometimes they'll tell me, often they'll say, what do you see? And so I'll always show them what I think ages them the most. And in her situation, I really think that it's all those furrows around her mouth. Is that always across the board what you typically say or it depends on the face? Very much so depends on the face. Okay. Everybody ages differently. Some people don't get these lines here around their mouth until they're in their 60s. Um, I have people in their 20s where we're injecting lines around their mouth because it's just a genetic thing. Um, so in her situation, lines around her mouth, what I'm going to do is I'm going to suggest for her that she have filler injected in those lines. A filler like Juvederm, where we just, in fact, I brought my needle with me, where in fact all we do is just inject right underneath the line this product that pulls that back out, fills that back out so that it makes it look like she doesn't have those lines there anymore. And we can do the same thing. I would do the same thing right down through there and right down through there and get rid of those furrows and those lines that way. So how and when do you decide to use fillers as opposed to Botox? Good question because Botox isn't going to fix this here. Botox is something that fixes wrinkles that come because of muscle use. These wrinkles aren't coming from muscle use. So if we now move up to the top of her face, mm -hmm. right up in here, another common problem, she's got furrows right in through here. Those come from muscle movement. If I look at her face, I see though she wears her bangs, she covers up her forehead, but she leaves this area open. That may be an area that she wants to address because when she makes that mad look, and I don't know if you want to show. Steve's like, Brooke, can show. you make the mad show look? You, I'm like, sure. Okay, so look. where am I at? Here we go. This is my mad look. So that's your mad look. These and you see how it causes that about. furrow right there. And with time, that becomes kind of a permanent furrow. It's becoming a permanent furrow in our model here. I will inject Botox up in here and relax that. Botox isn't going to work down here because those those wrinkles come because of collagen loss and because of genetics. Up here, the wrinkles become, cause, come because of muscle use. And I'd probably also recommend that we throw a little Botox around our eyes here. Now, the eyes are such a sensitive area of skin, I think, that I would get nervous to talk about anything around that area. Easiest place to inject Botox, probably the least painful place to inject Botox. And it really would help those wrinkles right in through there. And I, I would recommend that in her. But it wouldn't help the wrinkles under here. She's got wrinkles under there. You can't really Botox very much under there. What I usually recommend under there for those little fine wrinkles is laser. Um, you know, I see a lot of people that that's the area that bothers them the most. And I tell them Botox isn't going to work. We can't really do a lot of filler under there. Mm -hmm. But if we do a laser, a fractionated CO2 laser under there, that tightens up that skin and helps see, get rid of those wrinkles. And that's what I would think. You drew, drew attention immediately to the mouth, which once you pointed out, I right. saw. But I think eyes oftentimes are what women worry about the most. And, and, and it's, everybody's so different and everybody just has different concerns. And I, that's the first question I always ask anybody is what bothers you? Another area that might bother her is her upper lip here. A lot of women as they get older they lose that definition in their older lip and so mm -hmm. she's using her lipstick to kind of define that upper lip border for her. But what I can actually do is just inject a little strip of Juvederm right across that to better define her upper lip so she doesn't have to, to, to pencil it with her lipstick and it keeps that lipstick from bleeding up into those fine lines okay. that are occurring there. So as we look at the after picture if we can transition to that, how many years do you think were you able to lose? Oh, five to ten five easily. To ten. And if we put them side by side here, um, they'll put them side by side here. One other point while we're waiting for the side by side, eyelashes. Mm -hmm. We use Latisse now. As you get older, your eyelashes become thinner and 
and, and, and not as long. That's a way to open good. up the eye. That'll make things look even better. But yeah, look at her before and after now. I mean, that's made such a huge difference in terms of how much younger she looks, mm -hmm. um, how much more refreshed she looks, just not quite so haggard. And kind of fascinating to see the process. Thanks so much for yeah, showing us that. Fun. You have some specials going on right now. Right now, there's a rebate on if you come in and you do Botox and Juvederm the same visit and you do the right amounts, call our office for more details. You save $100. And there's also a rebate, $25 on Latisse right now for your All eyelashes. Right. All right. And that can be your face. And Dr. Jeff office having that your own individual consultation so Steve very fascinating thank you thank you when we come back